Hello and welcome back. Today, I wanted to make a protective case for my GoPro. Right now, I carry it around loose in a box with all my other GoPro accessories and I'm worried about it getting damaged or scratched. So, I jumped on Thingiverse to see if I could find something. And while I didn't find anything specific for my GoPro Hero 8, I did find this parametric rugged box. It looks very well designed, and if I can edit it just right, it'll fit my needs. But for that, I'm gonna have to use Fusion 360. Now, I thought they did away with their free version, but it turns out they still have it. And as a disclaimer, I just want to say I'm still very much a noob to Fusion 360, so maybe what I'm doing here isn't the best way to do it, but it's what I know right now, and it works for me. I typically spend all my designing time in Tinkercad. Now, in the future, I want to dedicate more time to using Fusion 360 and learning all about it as much as I can, and hopefully I'll be able to pass that on to you guys through my videos. For those of you who don't already use it anyway. Anyway, I digress. So back at Thingiverse, we want to download the .f3d file at the bottom here. Then open up Fusion 360 and open that file. Now you'll see we'll be able to look all around at the already finished box and its standard size. However, we can edit the dimensions of this box easily enough if we go up here and click the Modify drop-down menu and then select Change Parameters. Once the Parameters window opens up, we can see the designer has left labels for us to easily know what we're changing. We have the length, width, and height, amongst others, as well as the designer has also labeled what should not be changed if you look at the comments line. Now, I'm going to punch in some random numbers for demonstration purposes, but you get the idea. Another line we want to note is the one named split top, and that is basically splitting the length unit between the two sides. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example. If you have the height set to 35 millimeters like I do here, and the split top is set to 0.5, that means that the 35 millimeters are split in half evenly between both sides. So both sides here are in even 17.5 millimeters deep. Now if I change that 0.5 to a 0.3, the top is suddenly 10.5 millimeters deep, and the bottom is 24.5 millimeters deep, as shown in the value line. I say deep because these are the inside dimensions, not the outside. So the pocket, if you will. Now, we also want to take note here of the fillet size, which in this case is 4 millimeters. We're going to need that later. So, we want to make this form fitted to our GoPro, and we could just jump into Tinkercad and take our measurements and start going from there. But I want this to be an exact fit inside this case. And the easiest way I know how to do that is to stay in Fusion 360, open up a new design, and we're going to click Create Sketch, then select a plane. For this example, it doesn't matter as much which plane, so I'm just going to click a random one. From here, I will select the Rectangle tool and drag it out to the size desired. The size of this should be equivalent to your length and width sizes on the rugged box that you entered previously. But again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make this uh, 100 by 60 millimeters. Then click Finish Sketch over here. Now we can right click on the rectangle and select Extrude or just press E on the keyboard. Now again, this should match the dimensions of your rugged box, or be a little less if you want it to sit further inside the pocket. I'm just going to make this 10 millimeters and click OK. Now we can hold Shift and grab all four of our corners. Then come up here and click the little fillet icon that will open this window and we can enter the four millimeters that we know from earlier will match the rugged boxes fillet. And there we have it. 
Now, in order to get this out of Fusion 360, we want to come over here and click on Bodies to expand it. Then right click our body and go to Save as Mesh. That will open this window where we want to change the format to STL. Once you click OK, a window will open where you can name it and save it wherever you like. Rinse and repeat for the other side of the box. Also, we can go back to our rugged box and we will do the same thing on each body over here, the top and the bottom, to save those as STLs so we can print them later. Now, if you have knowledge of Fusion 360, you could easily go on and do what I'm about to do in Tinkercad, but for this video, I'm just going to continue in Tinkercad. The first thing I want to do is find a 3D model of the object I want to form fit into this case. In my case, as I said earlier, it's a GoPro Hero 8. And I was lucky enough to be able to find a 3D model on this website called GrabCAD. Okay, back in Tinkercad, I have my filleted rectangles, or the inserts, imported as well as the GoPro model. Now I first want to make sure that my rectangles are aligned in a way that they would fit inside the box, meaning sitting on top of each other. We can then separate them. Next, I want to pull the GoPro model up about 2 millimeters, and I do that so that when I subtract it from the bottom rectangle, I still have a 2 millimeter thick base at the bottom, instead of a hole all the way through. Now, I'll duplicate the GoPro, turn them both into a hole, and align them one by one to the top and to the bottom rectangles, and group them. This will leave the negative shape of the GoPro in both sides. Now from here, you can add your finger slots and you'll end up with something more like this. Okay, let's try this again. So this is my final model after I went through several iterations and edits and just wasted prints. I printed the yellow parts from TPU so that they would be soft enough not to scratch up the GoPro. Uh, you could also skip the form fitting part of this print and just use some foam like this foam that I found in my printer's box from the factory. And this is just to show you how important it is to make finger holes to grab the camera or whatever you decide to form fit. Hey, all right. sucks.
Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever.